What we then need to do is to understand what an objection really is. Potentially an excuse, but is an objection really just a difference of opinion? You think they should go for it, they're not so sure, it's a difference of opinion. See, if I took a difference of opinion, and I amplified it a little, could I scale up a difference of opinion to be an argument? Yeah? And then if I took an argument, and I poured some more fuel on top of that, and scaled that up a little bit, could I turn an argument into a fight? The thing with fights, is fights end up with winners and losers. <coughs> Which means that if you are the winner, what is your customer, or your potential customer? The loser. So if they are feeling like the loser, are they going to want to part with 7,000 bucks? <coughs> Not at all. Have you ever found scenarios with customers where you think, I've told them... <laughs> but they didn't buy. You were right though, yeah? But they didn't buy. See, we need to be fully aware of that. And we need to diffuse a situation. So we need to treat every objection like it's an argument. Have you ever tried to argue with somebody that says, look, I'm really, 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 really sorry? And it's all my fault. How far does the argument go? It can't continue too far, can it? Unreasonable cannot deal with reasonable. So we need to take the same approach to an objection. Every time somebody objects, firstly we clarify what they really mean. We say, is that your best price? No, sorry, they say, is that your best price? You say, what makes you say that? They say, well, I've been down the road and I've seen in Costco. Costco do pretty much the same device, and it's two thousand dollars cheaper. You say, really? You say, look, I agree entirely. When I'm looking to buy things, I look for the best possible value too. And I'm really, really sorry. We obviously haven't explained ourselves right. You hear what I agreed to? I agree entirely, when I'm looking to buy things, I look for the best possible value too. And I'm really, really sorry. We obviously haven't explained ourselves right. What does that apology allow you to do? You've just earned yourself another go. There's always something you can agree on, there's always something you can apologise. What I'm not talking about when I say you agree or you apologize, when they say, look, I hear everything what I need, you say, well, what makes you say that? They say, well, to be fair, it's quite nice not listening to what some of the other people have to say. She goes on and on and on and on and on. And on. So the fact that I don't hear it, that's a good thing. And when they really need me, they shout, and I can kind of roughly get it. You don't go, hey, I agree. I'd love to not hear everything that my mum says too. That's not the agreement we're looking for. And I'm not saying that you apologise for the fact that he has to put up with somebody who's continually whinging and moaning too. <laughs>